Steve. Yeah, welcome to the first side questing video. Hello. This one's all about the factory, and I've got a few extra friends with me here. Steve. State your names for the record. Random Ninja, Don't Steve, and look okay? at No, wait, no, those are wrong people. Uh, well, this is um, 100 Hogs Agree. How's it going? I'm Colin V. I'm probably making this LP worse just by being here. Oh, he definitely <laughs> is. Just don't mention anything and Shut up! And I'm Kale and Zombie, but you all fucking know that. <laughs> Why would you even mention that random? Why would <laughs> we you have do a that? half an hour of each other, so I want to lay out some ground rules now. You are allowed to reference me never updating my LPs, but don't reference Chocolate Secret. We've already ran all those jokes into the ground. Thank you. You just and referenced you just it end by a saying fight that in one move. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to talk to these people with the orange bubbles. That wasn't in their a jump names. cut. You actually killed them in one move. I right. mean, yeah. are, are you overpowered or is it just at this point? Uh, both. He's a little column A, a little column B. Whatever you're about to say, it's both. Yeah. Anyway, so, see those orange blinking orbs next to people's names? That means that they have factory schematics for you to be given. And. That was that was the they, most okay. Japanese name ever. Like, they just fork them over, like, like oh, side quests, or, like... <laughs> you haven't even found it! You don't get to track down a bunch of MacGuffins. The, the quest is finding these people, because there's actually, even just on this one planet, there are a whole bunch of people who do this not have... Nothing but trouble. Uh, schematics for you, but will sometime in the future. So it's about, you know, just running around everywhere and, and finding guess, the people a lot with of the glowing missing. orange orbs next to their names. Alternatively, opening up game facts and <laughs> doing it that way. How many of them well, are I've missable? I've got this strategy hey, guide here. That's Hey, random, uh, just so you know, you have not begun to see stupid names because in the very first video, we had a guy named Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah, but that's well, a that place. Sounds I mean, like a name. It sounds like an actual Middle Eastern name. Yeah. Uh, no, it's no, an but actual, it's actual Middle, Middle Eastern, Eastern place. place. The name of a place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, still sounds... Still. Mail your normals there. Anyway, so the second thing to do bananas. is resource gathering. you got to go buy bananas parts. so your factory can make you new weapons. Sounds yeah, JRPG. <laughs> we're going to need some Banana parts rain. to uh, throw into the factory. What is it, a vegetarian? Yes. It needs uh, all sorts of things. Metals, mechanisms... Look, I don't think factories do that. Circuits. I'm, I'm gonna have to be totally honest with you. Uh, factories <laughs> maybe, don't make things out of bananas. Maybe it's actually a sweatshop and you're throwing it down the feet <laughs> of the poor Chinese immigrants. <laughs> so, did they, do you know if they ever, like, figured out how to juice bananas? Because I thought they just pulped. Well, it's, it's about using a strainer, I think. Uh, yeah. I, I've never heard of banana juice. I've heard of bananas going into a smoothie. Hey, Maddox! Maddox <laughs> got something for us. Is oh, his no. head a fish or is he a fish? Help off. Like. Both. Yes! L like, I mean, it, is his body like, like a robot? It's like, you know, Sandy or? from Spongebob? Basically, it's that. Oh. Instead of a squirrel, it's a fish. Okay. That, was, that was just a squirrel, though. There was nothing yeah, weird about that, except she's underwater. <laughs> oh, here's another guy. <laughs> oh, not you. You don't have any schematics for me. The bow is bigger than Or her. pants. That now, this one's it. actually pretty interesting right here, because he's, uh, he's got this one schematic idea, but it's actually for, like, eight of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all part of this one singular format, essentially. Thank God there are people on the internet that did everything for you already. He's got the strategy guide. Is the, yeah, is exactly. like the, He's got the book. Is it, like, the Prima strategy guide? <laughs> well, I don't think uh, Prima made one, because I actually had the strategy guide to this, as well, even Prima though I never got further than guys? the desert. Yeah! Well, the project still exists. I'm Prima, Prima yeah. Double Jump Books is what Pre it says. They're, they're both of the imprints are on the back of the book. Prima is owned by EA, so it will never go away. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I'm surprised strategy guides still exist at all when everything's online. Uh, Some people like I players. actually still buy the occasional one because I actually like having maps and stuff as opposed to be like, turn left at this place. Yeah, it's, it's like, nice. Well, the strategy maps. guy's like six or seven years old. Yeah, but it's nice having the stuff that's not formatted in 80 character width text on GameFAQs because they haven't learned how to yeah. do word wrapping yet, apparently. <laughs> I think Prima does PDFs these days, anyway. You, you know, uh... The one benefit it really does have is that you don't have to wait a year and a half before you can find a good guard guide. 
Yeah. So you're paying yeah. paying money to be able to know what to do on a uh, release Although, game. Although to be fair, there's no guarantee it's a good guide at all. Well, for a game like this, it's uh, far Pretty more mandatory. thorough than anything I've ever found online. Well, yes, yeah, screw figuring that stuff out yourself, honestly. So yes, you, right. you have to design oh, it. Oh, this is wow. like Dark Cloud. You you weren't kidding. <laughs> now here is the factory itself. Um, I need my windmill facing east. <laughs> oh my god. That was the most <laughs> tedious bullshit. Uh, you, you I never played know. Dark there Cloud. Is, there is a fan in this, actually. Let me ex oh. uh, let me explain how Dark Cloud City construction works. Every uh, building... I don't have enough myriad branches for that particular... Uh, They're fucking item. branches. How hard can they be to find? <laughs> Go oh, get like some on a city a planet. Maybe they're like Deku Tell me where you find branches on a Bay, city planet. And, and you need very specific ones. I guess. I don't know. So what exactly is setting up yeah. here? Yeah, whatever, wherever they get air, I guess. <laughs> well, I was trying to make they would an have elusive to bug it. cage, but uh, I don't have enough myriad branches for it. Or for the other cage, the trap. Why do you, why do you need to trap bugs? And you can see from the plan here that this one needs like a triple connection. And so does that one. I have no idea what any of this means, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it and say yes, I understand. Oh, I <laughs> slightly get it, I guess. But... Yeah, I, I can, I can see where all of this is coming from. So basically, this, this is the item fusing me mechanic that you're not jamming stuff into a toad's mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this, <laughs> it makes... this is for non-weapon items. It, this makes far more sense than jamming weapons into a frog's mouth and having him magically spit out something better. Well, as much sense you can make for jamming a piece of metal on a piece of wood and getting like... It almost... It almost... I can make this unconscious defense here, you see. What? The, the, does that two make machines... your defense go up when, you're, when your HP hits zero? Well, the two machines, though, I don't need those. So I just deleted them. Those are for a different project. That's for the one in the main video that the viewers have seen, but you have not. Yup. <laughs> Welcome Lucky to you. LP. You, you... Joining LPs in halfway through. Oh, I can make a post earlier? I, uh, this is the one. Athenor. That sounds like a made-up word. <laughs> I'm guessing yes. But the Athenor is used to basically dissolve... Um, I'm gonna look that up right now. Uh, ...alchemical items into the component parts so they can be fused together in that blue thing over there on the right. I like how they just like drop from the ceiling. It's great. Yeah. I love Lewis stuff like that. And so when you're putting together metal pieces, you actually need three parts instead of one for, like, everything else. Uh, according to Wikipedia, athen an athenor is not a made-up word. It is a furnace used in alchemy. I mean, I'm huh. sure it's an used actual thing. It just uh, sounds like In alchemy, an athenor is a furnace used to provide a uniform and constant heat for an alchemical digestion. So it's a Bunsen burner? Yeah, essentially. Okay. Cool. Like more it's a bit more like the heat. smelter here in this game. Except that, unlike with metal, you only need the one part for the alchemical items instead of three. This kind of almost reminds me of uh, Space Chem, if instead of solving puzzles it made you items. Yeah, I can see that. That game was hard. I got past like the first couple levels. Yeah. And it just got way too yeah, complicated. Yeah, like even the LP admitted that it's like a drop-off... Yeah, it's like like it, for completion, like each, uh, like each every every single puzzle loses like five percent of the people who who've booted up the game. All right, now what <laughs> I'm doing here is you see that every piece along the pipeline has a different number associated with it, an, yeah. a, an amount of time. That yeah, it takes. how long it takes to go through it. You gotta like okay. match everything up so that stuff doesn't yeah. get like jammed in there or something. Right? Okay, I see. Yeah, it has to hit the assembler, the blue thing. At the exact same time as all the other pieces. So it is Space Camp. Okay. I've never played that game, so I have no idea. And so I've done some counting. And I figure that Math. the way I've got it right here, it, both sides are going to take about the same amount of time. And that's Spoiler, just power. does it mess up horribly? Yep. you, you got to plug everything into the power supplies along the edges. Well, at least they give you a lot of, a lot of plugs. Can you ever run yeah. out of plugs? Is that a thing? No, but uh, there is a maximum length to how long these things can get, and so that can play a part. Once you get to the really complicated things where you need like four or five different uh, components to start out with. 
Now, how long right. can they be? I don't know, like half the room? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. that seems fairly long. Just buy some extension cables, God damn it! <laughs> so what's the fan doing there? Just like cooling down the pipe or something? Yeah, watch the uh, metal slab on the right. Oh, oh. oh it turned it wrong. <laughs> that was a magic fan. It's JRPG, yeah. of course it's a magic fan. Unfortunately, it's... Yeah, the oh. timing was a bit off. <laughs> but it's nice that it gives you at least what was supposed to be there. Yeah, and luckily the materials are not lost in a failure. Oh, thank God. That's, that'd, be, that'd be the worst that thing. That would have... That yeah. would be JRPG testing. So all I need to do here is get rid of one piece on the alchemical side here. It looks like it's pretty close, though. That's really dumb that move and remove are... Com place move and remove are completely different menus, though. Yeah, and it, it can get confusing to me, too. Yeah. Confusing place and move and all This that. would be, like, the perfect thing for a mouse control. Too bad you're playing on a freaking PS2. <laughs> yeah. Well, it does let you use the uh, analog sticks to move around the perspective here. Woo! I do like how I think uh, this is a pretty neat setup. How it's going? There it goes. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It combined. Uh, uh, oh, we made them alchemy, baby. We did a... nothing. Bob and did everything. We just came <laughs> here and made stupid jokes. <laughs> we, no, we just we looked at things move along a tube, and then this stuff was a happened. Unconscious guard. Frickin' team effort, man. Does it keep you from? Going unconscious then? Is it Why the other you... kind of unconscious guard? Okay, so you got a sample. Is it like opposite date rate? So the first time that you make when you get the item, but then you gotta buy it afterwards? Yes. You get the first one free, but the rest are not. But you gotta make it, like, you not even take this all apart, it doesn't matter. You get that one for every minute. Alright, so you exactly. need some more metal plates here for the second guard item. Is unconscious guard a consumable, or is it just. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any dream mushrooms. Oh no. Oh, yeah, mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to build one of the other defense items here. An alchemy ingredient you don't know. Yes. Except you do, because you have a guide. <laughs> yes. And he's played the game before. Plus yeah, he, the, he's kind the of names cheating. kind of give a hint, too. Like, this is Freeze Defense. Hmm, gee, wonder, so maybe it's something Maybe it's the, the Freeze thing. Oh, wait, no. Or not at all. No, this is me not realizing that these are not interchangeable. <laughs> oh, well, well, it just said an alchemy item, didn't say anything. And this is me realizing, oh, wait, it says freeze defense. Let me go to the shock defense one. There we go. <laughs> well, that works too. Whoops! Oopsies. Aw, oh, shit. What? <laughs> Well, let's see if there's anything else that talks about lightning here. Aha! Electric eel. Did you get to jam eels in this machine? That's, I don't think that... <laughs> that that's pretty metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, I hope it's Not dead. only that, but he's... A, eat it. Jamming an electric eel into it. I saw an eel skin wallet today. It was... <laughs> interesting. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, it does sound kind of cool. Make, you can make it in leather out of any skin, really. Is that iron tube breathing? No, it's a roll. Yes, it's a roll of tubing. A roll, a sh roll of sheeting. Excuse me. Okay, is that roll of sheeting breathing? Yeah, it was so hot. It's it sentient. Was, it's it was the, It's a mix of eels. The eels it was pulsating. <laughs> they weren't in it yet. They were getting combined <laughs> into it. Shock defense. Now this doesn't really defend against elemental attacks. It's only against the uh, status effect stuff. Lame. Well, I don't know, I kind of figured annoying. that. Status well, effect are, would probably be something yeah, there else. There are other element defense items that go into the accessory slot, but um, you don't make them in the factory here. Now, out of you curiosity... You get access to them later. Are, are spells basically the same tier, blizzard, blissaga kind of thing? Uh, not really. No? No, it, it seems to be all... From what I've seen, all fighting, and then they just have a couple. Yeah, they, like, they've air all got spells. special abilities, and they do different things. And uh, sometimes you get to level them up, and they're just called like level two, level three. Or it's yeah, it's like the old Final Fantasies where it was fire, fire two, fire three. Oh, yeah, they, so they don't it, it's... they don't change the animation, they don't change anything, but like the power level. So space yeah. double player. boring. Okay, gotcha. Essentially, yeah. Three scarred. Unfortunately, I'm out of steel plates. Oh, no. More steel. Uh -huh. Fortunately, steel plates are one of the easiest things to get. 
Why did you uh, need a whole half hour video for this when you could have just shown it happening once and be like, I did this and things like this for two hours? <laughs> because then he wouldn't have gotten us to come in and because talk over it. Because then we have to also suffer with him, really. Yeah. Well, Misery. I don't know. To be fair, you could probably fast forward through most of the combining. You see it once, you've seen it a million times. Yeah, that's true. But then you wouldn't hear us talking. Oh. Yeah, and this is one of those videos that you can skip entirely, so fuck it. Yeah. If you're gonna no watch, one... watch the whole thing. No one cares about me. <laughs> what the fuck have I been in? <laughs> Nothing. I just I've been in like. I, I was gonna be like, this is my. Uh, uh, I was gonna this is like, your this I, I was, like, going to share some kind of compromising secret because I knew no one would watch it, but then I remembered I'm in this call with four assholes. <laughs> and you don't really have any compromising secrets. You are basically a pretty boy. Oh, no, dude. he has a couple, I bet. <laughs> Everybody has a couple. Everyone has a couple. I don't know, we've already seen his boyish facial hair, so... You that's... guys know about mine, so... God damn it, Jenner. <laughs> no, I, I don't think the rest of them see it. No. it. I know it. I don't know if the rest I, of them I see never... It. I didn't see it, Yeah. and I don't know it, so... I know your Wait, secret. Wait, what are you talking about? I don't think we're talking about the same thing. I think we're uh, talking about the same thing. No, we're not. I think we're talking about the same thing. It's that one thing Jenner mentioned late at night that you did not want her to mention. Did she mention? Yeah, but you said C, so I was confused. <laughs> no, I don't even care. Whatever. What is it, then? No, I'm not <laughs> telling you. <laughs> <laughs> not this video. No, that's why he doesn't care. He doesn't want more people to know. <laughs> <laughs> is it an embarrassing sexual secret? It's not embarrassing, I'll tell you that. It's then why just... won't you share it? Because shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so at this point I realize that I'm just showing the same thing over and over again, so I'm playing with the uh, camera angles. Uh, I Yes, it is um, very cinematic. That That's combination really... machine looks pretty awesome. It looks like some sort of special effects machine. This Days looks like, it's, this looks like a mind-numbingly boring game. Not gonna lie. All right. Do you well, this isn't the whole game, do, but do nope. only because I'm doing all of the special defense items simultaneously. Well, why do you want to have to take everything apart and put it back together again later the exact same way? Just get it all the way, be done of it forever. Fuck yeah. you, JRPGs. Do you make the sword? Yeah, there's a lot more variation in the other ones. So paralyzed defense. Obviously, for that we're gonna need some Medusa locks, mummified snakes. That doesn't. That's Shouldn't that be pet petrification? petrification. I... Medusa petrified people. I don't but there's no petrification in this game, so But it's still factually thing. wrong. I, don't... I thought you just died. You're factually wrong. You. I thought you like bit people during the story. Remember? Not of my No, no, they, it's just they looked at her and then her stone, I think. No, it was the Gorgon that just killed you. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah Medusa, Medusa is a Gorgon. Is a Gorgon. Oh, that's right. I yeah. don't know what I'm talking about. One of the three Gorgon sisters. She's the original Gorgon. She was, was cursed she was because she was too vain and beautiful, and every one of her snake hairs that fall out turn into another Gorgon. No. Oh, okay. Whenever I hear Gorgon, I now think of that, uh, like, monster that, that's like a bull that breathes gas that turns you to stone because, That completely like, wrong D&D &D thing. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. what's that? It's such yeah. a C. I, yeah, actually, that's... I actually remember that because of Castlevania, not D and D. Well, then Castlevania I, got I it wrong. I recall hearing second. that the whole gas breathing boar thing was actually out of some crazy asshole's uh, African uh, zoology book. Mm -hmm. I th back no, in like I the think 17th or 18th century. Oh, okay. Probably well, they did a lot of I... crazy asshole stuff back in the 17th, 18th centuries. Because they're yeah, all kind of crazy assholes, to be fair. Yeah, all that. You I know, the think they talk about they talk about zebras and they talk about giraffes without mm -hmm. having seen them ever. Yeah, giraffes and hippos and stuff like that. Are there was a lot creatures. of stuff back then, but like they don't need to, go s to prove the science. So they can just write about it secondhand because that's good enough. Do giraffes make a sound? Probably. Yes. That's a very good question. Giraffes are yeah. not, in fact, mute. But I mean, what sound do they make? Do they? Like, Probably the same sound that deer I make. Do they Who bleat like knows? goats? I, I always picture giraffes bleeding like goats. Well, if they're a Pokemon, then I'm sure the sound is just giraffe. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It's kind of like a, a honking bleeding noise. Not really like goat <laughs> bleat. Honking. It's kind of honking. <laughs> yeah. You ever hear like deer make noise? They're not quiet. No. I live next to a petting zoo, so there's a whole bunch of animals just right next door. Well, wow, that must smell fantastic. 
Hey, your embarrassing secret happened in the petting zoo? They keep it pretty clean, and there's a lot of animals, and we have a huge picture when it opens up to it. It's great. There's like goats, there's fainting goats. Oh, the Those fainting goats. Yeah, the lady <laughs> had regular goats, but she they would like get mean, so she, so she traded her regular goats for fainting goats. Yeah, that's those the ones thing never that, get that's mean. That's part of the thing. Goats is that they, that's they a thing that happened. That <laughs> she traded goats for other goats. <laughs> Was your embarrassing secret involving those goats? No, <laughs> it's not embarrassing. I already told you. Hey, hey, guys, we're out of guards. Oh no! Oh, I'm no. in hooray. Hey, time to build other things. You get to build a treasure hunter's al ally now instead. Oh, uh, just is this like increased drop rates or something? What this? Yeah, treasure yes. hunter's ally. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. Um, this gets rid of the traps. Ooh, the oh. traps. Well, that's good, too. Without having to guess what kind it is. That's We're good. We're going to stock up on these things, because then, well, you got a guide, so I don't need a oh, oh, bird feather. Well, he also has a guide, so, like, it doesn't really matter, but... Wait, see, something like that should really be randomized. The hunter's ally uses the exact same format as the guards. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Well, <laughs> good thing I'm doing it now. Oh, I'm enthralled here. I don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> At the edge of my freaking seat. Stuff's shaking, and things are turning into puddles, and then turning into sheets, and it's, it's great. And we've somehow turning been into talking about this sheets. shit for 20 minutes. We've been talking about this, though. <laughs> and we got the trap canceler. And unfortunately, you make the sword. I you don't have enough flame god stones for that. No, you don't and make it takes three items. You don't. Yo, oh, Colin, you didn't see the item fusing mechanic for weapons. Oh god, is it bad? Oh hey, he does. Kayla, oh, could you explain the item fusing me mechanic bad. weapons, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's this giant talking purple frog with a tuft of blonde hair, and he talks like a Brooklyn native. Yeah, an Oakland native. A and then Brooklyn. what he does is a uh, Brooklyn native, <laughs> yes. And then what he does is he eats your weapons and then spits out a better weapon. I don't think that's how frogs work. It's how this frog works. Digestion <laughs> works. <laughs> he doesn't digest them; he just spits them back out. Yeah. He chews them a couple times, and problem solved. My point so, exactly. We got one last thing to do here. See, this guy, he's just sort of in the middle of nowhere, but he's got a whole bunch of. Uh, items that aren't carried anywhere else on this planet. Oh, you JRPG bastard. But the most important thing is the chaos chips. Because that's what I need right now to complete the last factory item that I can create at the moment. I mean, do you have to go to your ship and then go to the factory every single time? No, no. Oh, no? The Accessing the factory is done from the main menu. Oh, well, that, that's... Well, that, that's convenient, at least. That's not as terrible as... It Just gotta call be. up the fact to have him build this ultra use for assembly for me. <laughs> Bam. Wow, that's a very intricate machine. <laughs> it's ultra useful to me. Alright, now I just need a couple of uh, circuit washers here. By the way, if anyone didn't get the joke of me uh, asking if there was a uh, Skies of Arcadia LP. I, uh, I was the one who bought, uh, I think I was, no, I, I was the one who bought it, but I think I was the one who made Mr. Vile his, uh, Skies of Arcadia avatar. He did made an avatar? Arcadia. I think I read that in the, in the archive, so. You made an avatar, but you cannot make an LP. <laughs> Hoi! An avatar is much, much less time intensive. No, yeah, I understand. Really he should I, do I what made... Kalon's doing, and just do the entire damn thing before it even starts. <laughs> That doesn't mean he's not going to burn out. It's and then near the end, I'm spurging about the Westermark effect. I am the grog, it is me. Oh god, man. <laughs> Alright. You know, th this whole electric cable thing seems like the most interesting part. Of At least the cables can cross each other. Thank god for that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I yeah, getting the cables to the correct positions without uh, running into everything in the way... That is actually the hardest part of doing this. Yeah, I, I figured. I mean, it, it, it's also the coolest looking. Plus, it makes neat sounds. So, so by cleaning circuits, what does it mean? Like, what do you think this is Dexing doing? It's eating them. It chews them, and then spits them back out. It's basically the frog, but machine. <laughs> yeah, the circuit washer disassembles them into the ah. 
in to the get some transistors and some capacitors and whatnot into the component parts. I, I really don't think this is how making things work in a factory. Um, I've well, seen you, how it's made. Uh, if you're it's talking like about, this. like, like chemicals, then kind of... Combining a couple of circuits has created the Assembler 3. That was it. Can I get that the was... funk that down? See Bye. ya.